thanks for having me again here. Today I'm presenting some very interesting data uh, of our recent uh, phase 1B study. So Panoptes is an uh, ophthalmic company. We are based in Austria, Vienna, and we have two programs based on the same small molecule, which we call PPC-01. One is an intravitreal injection, which we call PANI checked. It's for non-infectious CVITIS. And the other one is a nanocarrier eye drop, pan eye drop for dry eye disease. Uh, since we've heard loads of dry eye data so far, I will focus today only on, my, on our uveitis data. So, what is, what is uh, um, the conundrum and the problem, the underlying cause from, uh, in non infectious uveitis? It's uh, what we know, what we've learned out of preclinical and clinical studies, it's very much T cell dependent, T cell driven. Uh, it's Th1, Th17 cells induce the inflammatory process and, and by that this do tissue destruction. That's not only in uveitis, it's the case, it's also in the ocular surface. So what is uh, our molecule, our small molecule is doing, is exactly addressing that problem. So. We, we are addressing the underlying initiation of the inflammation. We're addressing the uh, Th1, Th17 cells by inhibiting um, an enzyme called DHODH and then downregulating R17 and interferon gamma, one of the major messages happening here, and therefore having no inflammatory uh, destruction of tissue. So in, by that mode of action, very much unique, uh, addressing the key pathological signaling, and we are able to access the tissue in question. So uveitis, um, non-infectious uveitis, it's a, you know it's a rare disease, but it's one of the leading causes of blindness. Uh, almost 10 to 20 percent go blind within three years, despite all treatment. And what is the current treatment? We have uh, most of, of that what we have in our hands are corticosteroids, very recently also uh, anti-TNF-alpha inhibitor. Um, and what, is, what do we provide with pan eject if, as an intravitreal injection? Uh, we address the sweet spot. So we do not treat systemically, uh, we do not have any systemic side effects. We treat locally, we inject uh, the molecule, and then uh, improve, improve, or should improve, then the inflammatory process. So now, switching gears to our uh, phase 1B study, it's a prospective open label study. It's a dose escalating study, was in several countries in Europe. And it was designed to be um, a safety tolerability study. So output was safety tolerability, improvement of inflammation, but also pharmacokinetic of, of the PPC-01. Single injection and then follow up for 28 days. Um, so very simple uh, outline. Uh, what I should say is we treated very uh, severe patients, chronic uveitis patients who who mostly have several years uveitis diagnosed. So outcome, safety, tolerability, very, very good profile, uh, excellent tolerability in all, in all um, those groups. And PK, we didn't see any PK in the peripheral blood, so it's good. But we also saw some efficacy, surprisingly, actually, in that study. Here, case study, a typical patient, uh, and we treated always on on uh, systemic therapy, on top of systemic. And that uh, woman had humira, methotrexate, prednisolone as a systemic therapy, and we treated on top of that. And she was suffering for the last six years on uveitis. She was now a high dose group, and surprisingly, we, we saw already at day seven, we saw a significant improvement of vision by 20, 25 letters. Uh, treated the left eye, the right eye uh, lost at the same time 10 letters. And what we also saw is, since that uh, woman had a macular edema, 
the cystoid spaces were gone within seven days. So looking at the overall um, in data of the study, we see a clear dose-dependent effect. 300 to 612 nanogram were used. You know, remember steroids use four and eight milligrams uh, as an injective. Um, so, and when you look at, uh, at, when you focus in on the high dose group, uh, and here it's mean lattice uh, improvement versus baseline, you see an improvement, very significant improvement, already at day seven. So, talking about three lines here, around 15 letters at D7, uh, and that the same effect uh, is still on at the last day of the study. We don't know for sure how long it, the, the effect lasts, but at least for 28 or 35 days. And by having that, we are clearly superior to what's, what's known in literature from the standard of care and uveitis patients, so steroids or Humira in that uh, instance, you see improvement, everything below 10 letters. So by having that PANA checked, has no impact on IOP, it's disease-specific, uh, addresses IL-17, interferon gamma, it's a local injection. Uh, we have a formulation which helps, uh, uh, can be dosed two to four times a year, um, compared to what we know in, st in the steroid or in the anti-TNF alpha case. So uh, with that, I conclude. Uh, uh, we have two products. Today I, I talked about uveitis, and stay tuned what we can say in the next year for the dry eye product, and I'm happy to ask, answer any questions afterwards. Thank you. Thank you.